Okay, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do something completely different today. We're gonna tour my travel trailer. So this is a Keystone Bullet model number 257RSS. This is 2021 model year. We bought this at the height of COVID. And first of all, my overall impressions with this after having it for how long we've had it are I like this trailer a lot it's very good for our lifestyle it's definitely a couple's trailer uh, all our kids are grown and gone but uh, you know sleeps sleeps too comfortably uh, four can sit for eating comfortably and you can have probably six in here visiting but uh, anyway um, let's go through some things that we like and we don't like and things that hopefully the Keystone Bullet designers will man manufacturing process people will pay attention to so they can make this an even better product so over here it's got a fridge that's on 120 volt fridge only works really good for beverages that's what i use it for it's got this nice stove here we use occasionally we're tending to use it more and more it's nice it's got this storage here that we use for stuff and uh, hot water tank refrigerator furnace under the refrigerator outside outlet it's got TV mounts but you know nowadays we do streaming everything so uh, TV mount. We don't have an outside TV. Power awning comes out. It's got power stabilizers, which I don't know whether those were... I, I'm assuming they're added at the factory, and, and we'll get to that. Um, the wiring. The wiring. Anyway, uh, you see those no batteries. I moved the batteries, which is another thing we're going to talk about. Uh, storage it's got great storage in here so if I can get the flashlight to work any better nice storage both sides goes through lots of storage this is a nice feature uh, we'll talk about the issues I have with that outdoor shower plug power plug slide out is this unit has three waste tanks a gray tank for the kitchen back here with its own sewer connection and a black tank and gray tank here with the sewer connection so Anyway, again, we'll go around, we'll look at all the good stuff, and then we'll start talking about things where they could improve. Okay. Inside, we we'll go inside. Master control panel. Bedroom, nice closets. It's got a um, laundry, laundry hamper there. 
it's got storage up there, which isn't quite big enough. It'd be nice if that could stick out a little bit further. Um, here's the bathroom. It's got a shower door on here and a nice size shower. And it's way better than having a shower curtain. So, anywho, vanity. There's the vanity. Outlet, light switch. There's the medicine cabinet. Uh, toilet. Yeah, it's one of my grapes. I'm gonna start with that grape. Um, we replaced the plastic toilet with a ceramic bowl toilet that made all the difference in the world. I did have a problem with the toilet leaking. The valve stayed open just a bit and water would fill up the bowl on its own. The other toilet. And I thought, well, instead of replacing the valve... Oh, and it was also leaking out the back. So I had to use that as an opportunity to upgrade the toilet to one that has a ceramic bowl, which is way better. And they should just ship them this way. I mean, what does it cost them? An extra, you know, maybe not even a hundred bucks when they buy them in bulk? Come on. Um, it's just way better. You, those plastic toilets, you sit on them and they're all kinds of noise middle of the night it's it's horrible the other thing i did was i added a i added a shut off down here so i can shut the toilet off um so so this is what it looks like closed we put this in here in the winter time keep it warm we come in here here's the main cabin tv Power unit, radio, storage up there, refrigerator, microwave, stove, sink, counter space, electrical outlets, all nice storage up here, dinette. This is a re one of the reasons we bought this unit. So I wanted one with a couch and I wanted one with a dinette. But I didn't want a small dinette with a couch next to it and a slide out. Um, this slide out is nice having this horseshoe dinette. And it doesn't slide out too far. Only like three feet or less than three feet. It's got storage all the way around under there. Uh, it's got a little storage underneath the jackknife sofa. So anyway. Um... Hood vent. Let's start there with my complaint. So you would think that they would do a hood vent that actually vented outside, not just through a wire screen and back out into the space. Now, I get that if you come out here, it would probably mess up their pretty graphic to put a vent here and it might not line up with their aluminum wall studs but they could engineer for that but why not have an outdoor vent outdoor what's the point of having a range hood if it doesn't vent outside so that's one thing they can improve on okay number two is there is a light in here doesn't do much there is no light on the other side here so there is a light here which is great but there's no light in here so I'm gonna end up putting one in here because I need more light um, the next thing is is this uh, right here I modified this and I added a rack here for um, the batteries because everything's going to lipo lithium, lithium iron phosphate batteries so why not have a rack in here built in 
This was all wasted space anyway. It was blocked off with this panel running back at an angle like that. Just because there's a water pump here, they didn't want people stuffing stuff in and interfering with. But this is a wasted space. So, besides, you know, they could put in indoor battery storage spot for lipos. But uh, that's one area where they could improve. Um, let's see. Another thing that I want to point out is there are places where they've like hidden space storage. This was one of them. They could have incorporated that from here up into something for storage. Okay. Um, this wiring mess is another pet peeve I have, which I'm going to fix. But I don't know how much of this is the dealer and how much is the factory. But they've got power for the stabilizers. And I believe the slide out. And I believe the awning all comes here. Comes out here and goes to these things, which... After how many, how long, these things are already rusted up. So, why do they need to bring that stuff out here? Why couldn't they put in a distribution block in here somewhere? And, you know, bring all those wires up in here. Where it's out of the weather. So, anyway. Um... This is another issue here. This pan is great, great design, but I ran into a problem where over time this sealant failed and I had a leaky hose and I didn't have this open and it filled this thing up, leaked out, leaked out here because there's nothing preventing this thing from overflowing and then flooding the trailer. So, why not have a drain in here that's, you know, one of those little rubber things that it can constantly drain if water gets in there. Anyway, the other thing that's bizarre, and I don't know why they do this, is these things. To me, these are backwards. Okay? Engineers. If I want stabilizers to go down, I would naturally want to push the down button. Not the retract, but the down button. Okay? If I want to retract, in other words, bring the stabilizers up, I would push the up button. Why are these things backwards? Makes no sense to me. So, other thing. This battery disconnect. It doesn't do squat. The way this trailer is originally wired, all that does is disconnect the charge panel in the panel from the batteries because everything's wired here none of this stuff is disconnected there is no disconnect switch for all the stuff that's coming back here so anyway yeah it's the little things it's the little things okay so this is another one and I know this is the manufacturer of this itch of this jack but down should be the tongue going down up should be the tongue going up not the opposite it's logic to me okay anyway here's another thing what's the point of having pegboard here when this is where you're gonna have a bin for the laundry chute why not have the pegboard over on the other side where you might actually use it because that's more of the mechanical side. So anyway, engineers paying attention. Okay, here's another thing. This light here was wired to the switch. You turn that off and this would go off, which is great. But if you have to come out here in the middle of the night to see what's going on with this panel, wouldn't it be nice to just turn on one light so you can see what's going on with the panel? I rewired that and it wasn't trivial to do. 
So, anyway, that's another thing. Okay. Logical thing to do since we don't have a vent that goes outside is to put a fan in here. Okay, so I open that up. And you would think, hey, maybe they ran some wire out here thinking that that someday somebody might want to put a fan here. No, no wiring. Every wire in here to these lights that you think you might be able to pull off of is a switched circuit. So I just got done taking all this apart and fishing a wire from the other fan all the way up here so that I can put a, a fan in here. So anyway, but other good features, love that. These things, not so much. These don't generate enough amperage to, to charge your phone unless you have them sitting there overnight. So it'd be nice if they had some chargers in here so they could do some fast charging. Another thing, we like to bring our computers and stuff in the trailer. There's no one at 10 outlet anywhere over here. The closest 110 outlet is on that wall over there or up here. So, why couldn't they run a 110 outlet and have it under there? Which I'm going to add, by the way. So, that's the other thing. Okay, wasted space. This and this are completely empty. There's nothing in there. Well, there is now, but... That could have been storage. So, this down here, nothing. It could be storage. So, um, this is kind of an issue. Stuff scratches this right off the bat. So, this stuff scratches that right off the bat. So, anyway, um, what else can I tell you? So, it would have been nice. Here's a here's really an off the wall thing. Uh, why couldn't they provide an open wire chase going up through here? This is a wire chase. Why couldn't they provide an open wire chase up into the attic space for future wiring needs? I could get stuff in here, but I couldn't get up through here. So, I don't know. Maybe run some Smurf tube in there for future needs. I know, they're all come pre-wired now with solar, but so that might be that problem solved, but I don't know. Um, they probably have the right charger in there now that supports lithium iron phosphate batteries, but I had to replace it. You know, what are we, three years since this was new? And I had to replace that for the right charge profile. Uh, what else did I... Oh. Here's another thing. Why do I have to take a panel off, unscrew a panel to switch the hot water tank isolator? Why couldn't it have a little slide over kind of thing or something you know you do that enough that i don't know it's it's these little things okay and here's the last one that made my wife mad forever these are nice but they didn't have these things on here i had to add these things there was no way to hold this thing up so i bought this for 10 bucks for four of these on Amazon. How much would it cost the company to actually add these so these things stay up? Anyway, those are the little things. Again, I don't mean to gripe. Oh, let's get some more. So, this trailer came with no towel bars in here at all. 
we had to add the towel bars. Why couldn't they add towel bars at the factory? There's only one logical place in here to hang towel bars. So it's not like leave it up to the customer where they want them. Towel bars. And if nothing else, if you're not going to put towel bars in here, why not put some backing in those walls or the towel bars? So, anyway, we did all kinds of stuff in here. Uh, so, um, in here, we put that in for our toilet paper holder. And we put a hook on it so it stays there. Um, we wanted something portable. I mean, I guess I could have mounted something here. But that works great for the toilet paper holder. Um, and the hook there keeps it in place when we're traveling. Before I put the hook on there, we would just toss it on the bed when we were traveling. So, anyway. So some of the things we did, yeah. We've added fire extinguisher in here. We've added a fire extinguisher out there. We've added all kinds of command hooks. In here, we've added command hooks. I wouldn't expect them to include those, but... Um, let's see. I think that's pretty much it, other than... Yeah, so... They should put... A vent in here. And if this door's closed... Then there's only one vent in here, and it gets hot back here. So, yeah, we got to keep that door open all the time. So I would, engineers, designers, put an air another air conditioner vent here and take that one and move it back further. That way you're cooling both these areas. Um, yeah, so I don't know. That's just something we learned from experience, taking this thing out in the heat. We were in Yakima la this last summer. Um, and the temperature outside was 100 and we were able to maintain it in here under 75 degrees so that's a good thing also um, the fridge maintained its its coldness in that too so that was good popsicles in the freezer stayed frozen uh, here's another little thing that would be cool if somehow they could use this space here and make a little, I don't know, closet, broom closet. Little broom closet. You can see we put up all kinds of hooks here. Can never have enough hooks in a trailer. Hooks for everything. Hooks for everything. So, yeah. Lots of hooks. Lots of hooks. So, I don't know if they ever send anybody out in these trailers from the manufacturer for them to actually try them but anywho so those are my bitches but overall love this trailer love the layout we have had really had no mechanical issues with this trailer other than the uh, propane regulator recall which I was actually I, w I would actually like to um, congratulate or say to the company that when I called them about the recall on the propane regulator, unlike other companies, when I told them I would install it myself, they said, okay, no problem. We'll send you one. And they did. So most other companies want you to take the unit into the dealer and have them do it and all that kind of stuff and you have and if it's a trailer you you most people don't or do know what a hassle it is to take a trailer in to camping world which is where i got this make an appointment take it in there spend half a day there while they unscrew and screw on a new regulator so anyway um, so yeah, I, ha I have to commend them for the way they treated me, letting me do my own 
parts replacement. So that's a good thing. Um, anyway, so that's where we're at with this. I just got done putting solar panels on this unit, I guess in 2022. They had solar ready. I think it was part of um, the base unit was a 200 watt solar panel set up, which is what I added to this. Um, let's see, other mods I did. Like I said, I moved the batteries inside so it can be a little warmer because um, lithium batteries are not supposed to be out in the cold. Uh, so I'm going to get a storage box for that. Um, other things I've done or going to do are I'm going to put a plug in that dinette, 110 plug in that dinette, and I'll do that. Uh, I'm going to put a vent fan on the unit in the main vent in the area. So, um, this over here is where the wiring comes through. So I don't know how hard it's going to be to get a plug wire into this and run it into here. From there to here. Out of 110. So, I don't know how hard that's going to be. But, to figure that out. So, anyway. Here's what the underside looks like. All right. So, got any questions for me about this trailer? Put them in the comments. Um, yeah, here's where I moved the batteries inside I showed you. I didn't lose much space putting them there. But, uh, oh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put some of that roofing tape here. Seal this all up. Good. So water cannot get out of that. That is kind of an issue. Um, do like the black water flush. One of the things I noticed about this trailer is I always haul it with at least the the freshwater tank half full. Um, this trailer weighs like 5,200 pounds dry weight and uh, I have no problem hauling it with this F-150 Ego Boost plenty of power obviously gas mileage is squat when you're pulling but it pulls it just fine um, the only other thing that I will say is that I wish there was a ladder on the back. I wish there was a ladder right there. But I guess they don't do that much anymore. So. Um, yeah. Okay, so check out my other channel. I'll put a link to the videos of what I've done with the electrical so far uh, that's on my other channel um, but go check it out so yeah that's a tour of our Keystone bullet ultralight so thanks for watching see you on the next one